Hi, uh, this is Eduardo Ribeiro. This is my presentation for the class uh, Game Software Cine Project. This is my game implementation project. Uh, these are all the requirements right here. Uh, user manual, working code, graphic user control, main menu, game credits. Uh, the game should have a minimum three scenes or three maps. Uh, game should have a minimum of three animations. And I'm supposed to explain uh, the trouble I had uh, to get this to work. Okay, I created a folder with my name and uh, I placed inside the folder all the, uh, uh, the code and, and everything for the game. Uh, I developed, let me talk about the graphic user interface first. I did the game on a separate project and the graphic user interface on another separate project. Uh, the reason I did that is because it would be easy for me to work uh, uh, separate on, you know, on, on different parts of the game. When I designed the game also, uh, I'll show that in a few minutes. Let me talk about one first. Okay. Uh, this is the, the graphic user interface. I've used a, a Windows form. Uh, you can see you can move things around here. Uh, with three buttons, the start game, credits, and close. That's my picture right there. Uh, I use some uh, 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 drawing, some textures to, to make it a little cool. Uh, the This was very basic, really. The start button actually just runs the executable file inside the debug folder where the Super Pinball game is, which is the name of my game. Credits would just run. Uh, where is that? Yeah, would just show another form, which is this one here. Oops, nope. Uh, right here. Very simple. Just you know, the, with the credit, uh, the my, my information and the course and the the professors. All right. This is the graphic user interface. Just close this one. And this is the actual game, which is located on another folder right here. Now I've used DirectX to make a, a 2D uh, game engine. This was done on a previous course, Fundamentals of Game Engine Development, back on term number six. Uh, so I've, I've developed the game engine uh, using DirectX 9 which was a little problem later, I'll explain later and uh, the whole game the game engine uh, it, it's all, I could say it's almost separate from, from the game itself the whole game stays inside one file, the game.cpp if you notice, uh, this file got a little uh, big here with uh, 2,255 uh, lines of code. The professor advised me that when the file reaches 2,000 to start using, uh, separate the code in classes. My intention was to, uh, to keep it simple so I could uh, later on design a uh, a graphic user interface so the the gamer the player could drag and drop uh, with, uh, use an application to drag and drop and design the levels this is a pinball game it's a, it's a 2d game so basically to design the maps would be a different background and different locations of the pins in, in the game world uh, I, uh, there's a, a welcome uh, class which it gives a uh, an introduction to the game on when the game starts that there was an add-on and the map class which uh, uh, the requirement the requirement was to have three maps so I made a uh, random number generator that would pick between one and three and depending on the result it would if 
number one was selected would load map number one which is basically the uh, coordinates for the uh, the pins on on the game world the, the green pin blue pin red pin and yellow pin if map number two was selected the uh, configuration it's different so you will be different so every time you start the game it should have a, a different map uh, okay now um, I'm gonna test again okay the, the game uh, the, uh, both executables for the game and the, the graphic user interface was saved inside this folder actually it was just copied to inside this folder super pinball this is all the uh, uh, you know the the sprites and the animations this is the uh, you know, the, the sprite sheet animation which is animate like you know the red uh, would just circle around this dot here and this is all of them here the background the ball the bricks uh, the pins everything here the game over uh, sprite so everything is here I had a problem with DirectX because of uh, where is it I, I had to include this right here otherwise the game would run I, I could not install DirectX on a Windows 7 machine so I had to basically install it on a, on a Windows XP and then copy the folder to a Windows 7 and include this file here uh, in, uh, 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 DLL file alright okay uh, now I also made a, uh, a distribution pack package uh, which you know will install the game I'll just show you real quick here I'm not gonna install it because it's already there so we we'll just basically install the pinball game and cancel this and once it's installed uh, if I didn't want to close that it this icon will be on the screen now I have to show one more thing uh, I put all the documentation on this folder this is all the pictures I took. Uh, I used uh, 3D Studio Max to, uh, to make uh, these pictures for the. Uh, that's the, the game and everything. Okay, the project plan and, and project plan review. This was the project plan, and I just commented on on the on the beginning of the you know uh, the project plan here. The red uh, demonstrate uh, stuff that didn't happen according to plan. Uh, I was supposed to design the user manual on week three, but you notice I had a lot of pictures, a lot of textures, and I wanted to create a user manual with you know showing the the, the maps and everything. So that was left for you know almost at the end of of uh, the course. Uh, the graphic user interface uh, I started to code it in Visual Basic but the professor said he wanted everything on C++ so I, I had to basically start all over this part uh, the main menu instead of accomplish it on week 3 was actually accompli accomplish it on week 5 week 4 everything was on time uh, the graphic user interface was actually finished on week 7 instead of week 5 uh, and also the game credits which is you know because of the windows form and here is the uh, problem I had with the DirectX 9 this was delayed to week 7 because of the problem with DirectX 9 and everything else was on time actually I just had a minor problem with DirectX 9 and had to basically uh, start all over again to design the uh, the graphic user interface but other than that everything worked fine all right uh, now I have the uh, user manual which like I said I could only finish the user manual after I had the, the game accomplished because I needed the pictures uh, that's the user manual showing uh, 
the many blocks show how many blocks are still in the game, explaining the rules of the game, the objectives and everything. And now I want to test the game. Um, like I said, the game, it's in this directory right here. If you just double click this, it will run the game. But uh, I want to test it from this screen here. It's already installed. So I double click on it. Click on the credits. Close the credit window and start game. This is the welcome message I showed. And this is the game. Now you control the uh, the flippers with uh, right and left uh, arrow keys. Okay, now uh, every time you start the game, you should load a different map. See the, uh, the formation of the pin and the board. Every time you start the game, it starts with a different map. There's three maps in total. Okay, and that's that's my game. Now, uh, the interested uh, interesting thing, in my opinion, was uh, how the plan. Oops, wrong document. Project plan. How the plan was changed during development. Uh, so many things happening, and at least thank God at the end, you get you know I got it working. But uh, and this is something I learned here to you know be ready to improvise. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you very much.